Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and this is a combo guide for Enmu, and obviously this will also include his resets and pressure, because he is the reset mix-up king in this game. He is so amazing, and I think we should just get straight into it, because they're so awesome, and we just need to talk about it as much as we can. So, a really simple bread and butter combo with Enmu is just a few attacks into his tilt special, into a full attack string, and then into a grab. This is a really easy bread and butter combo to do. It only costs one bar and does 3,100 damage, which is pretty awesome. And with a grab ender, you get to build back some meter. But an extra way you can end this combo is... Like this, and then you get a hard knockdown, and you get a lot of time to build some meter. And depending on your timing, you can actually make that dash up at the end there free. And uh, yeah, one bar for 3,000 damage and a hard knockdown to build back a bunch of meter is pretty damn awesome. Now, if you want to get some more damage with Enmu, you're going to have to cancel into your tilt special a little bit earlier so you have more time to do more stuff in your combo. So, three hits into tilt special, four hits into tilt special, jump into the air, do some projectiles, wait for the explosion, and then go for a grab. That is 3,700 damage for two bars. That is pretty awesome damage. He also has options for going for combos like this off of his... um. Uh, his invincible reversal special move, but I don't tend to like using it in combos because it. I, don't know, I prefer doing the cool flashy jumping combos, and also for some reason I'm messing this up even though it's a bit easier. There you go. So it does do a little bit more damage, but I prefer the flashiness. <laughs> Um, and obviously in all of these combos, because they end with a grab, you also have the option, after the explosion, for going with an ultimate for an extra huge chunk of damage. Now, off of any red attack, so your aerial tilt attack, or your grounded armor attack, or any of your unblockables, you will want to go for a reset instead, because you don't really have much time to get any proper damage from a combo. So from a reset you just do a few attacks into your tilt special and you've got a plethora of juicy juicy reset options. So I'm pretty sure I have Sabido set to guard. Yeah. So a few hits and then when the opponent is guarding you have a few options. The first one I like to go for the most because it practically works 100% of the time. Even after I've done it to the opponent tons of times it works over and over and over again. So a few hits, tilt special, to a full charged armor attack. And that will break the opponent's guard. And then you can go in for this full awesome combo, and if the opponent was a little bit lower there, they'll get hit by the explosion. The timing can be a little bit rough, but even if they don't get hit by that, you can go for a reset and get a it'll be, you know, juicy chunk of damage even if you mess it up. But uh, let's see if we can hit it. For a grab, obviously you can go for an ultimate, but even a grab here is seven, four thousand damage, which is pretty, pretty damn awesome. And if you combine it into the fact that it was a reset, that's like sixty percent of the opponent's life for really not that much. I didn't use any demon skills, so I can still break away from combos, and I didn't use all of my meter. It's pretty amazing that you can do this much damage for a single reset that is really, really hard for the opponent to avoid. And another option he has that is practically unavoidable, I'm pretty sure, is just going in for a grab. I'm not sure if the opponent can even jump away from this grab. So if you choose to end even a long combo in your tilt special, you have the option of going in for a grab. And even if the opponent's blocking, as I said, I'm not sure there's any way to avoid this grab because it comes out just so quickly. Like, that, well, that time it came out too quickly that the opponent had their falling invincibility to even get hit by it. But as you saw in this instance, when the opponent doesn't fall, like, that's a guaranteed grab at the end of your combo, and that's decent damage for- oh, it's too awesome. Obviously, you also have the option of just doing some delayed buttons to make the opponent stand there blocking. So my opponent's standing there blocking, then they have to block the explosion, then they have to block my ridiculous grab that reaches across half the screen. Um, you also have the option of this cool kind of jump back situation. So if the opponent is like standing there blocking, you can do these projectiles and then the explosion happens and then if the explosion... Oh, I'm sorry, there's a fly. <laughs> so you throw these and the explosion happens, you can dash in, then they have to block you and then it 
after they get hit by this and their guard breaks and you get to go for a full combo and really really juicy stuff just all over the place and that's if the opponent blocks if the opponent does have a block then you get to get a cool combo anyways so if you end your combo in this oops and you, you jump back projectiles then the bomb will go off and you get to dash in and go for some cool comboage actually you got to do too much cool combo. You have to be a little bit careful about how much time you have there. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. You can go in for a little bit of a reset there, or any of the other resets we've mentioned before. And if you want to make your resets really, really hard to avoid, like if you're, if you're you know, facing a bit of a skilled opponent, and they're starting to th see through your mix-ups, which honestly never happens. I've never seen anyone re even really get through this floor one of mix-ups, like going for the armor attack or regular attacks to make them block and then hit the explosion. But if you want to get some like really ridiculous over-the-top setups, you can do this. So uh, if you're watching now, there are two bombs on the opponent, and if he's you know blocking. One bomb's gonna go off, and I can go for my armored attack, and then the second bomb will bow off, and then explode in. So it's like the same reset as before, but now there's two bombs on the screen, and it's just impossible to avoid, like, literally anything he does. So in that circumstance, literally, game over for your opponent. You can go for your charged armor attack, you can go for a grab, there's no way they're reacting or avoiding all of this, because they have to block the first explosion, then see what you're doing, and what you're doing is covered by the following explosion, it's like, oh. It's just, it's just too much. They just lose. It's game over. So, honestly, combo-wise, that's about it for Enmu. Because a lot of the times, you're just going to be cycling between these different options of resets. A lot of your time, your combos might even be red combos, because a lot of the time, you get an unblockable. Or you'll open up your opponent if your opponent is blocking. You open up your opponent by doing your quick, you know, unblockable. And you're going to get a bunch of red combos, and then you should go for a bunch of resets because of it. La da da do. And, yeah, I don't think there are any other particularly crazy combos to do with Enmu. Like, obviously, if you get stuff like this, then you just go for the same kind of things. You just make sure you're paying attention to how much time you have to see how much you can get in your combo. It'll scale differently from different things. But, yeah, those... Those few reset options, I think, are enough to make your Enmu completely ridiculous and terrifying. So, uh, yeah. Those are resets and combos with Enmu. I hope you've learned something from this video, because he could be pretty ridiculous if you did. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.